Never before seen footage of UFO sightings this year are being shown at a conference in Pontefract. Tell me about this footage and why you think it's important. Well, this extraordinary inc incident took place in Kumburgas in Istanbul. It's a compound in Kumburgas, and it was witnessed by many people who live in the compound, and it was filmed by the security guard for almost three hours within the period of time, like two, uh, two and a half to three months. And uh, the footages are so interesting and so amazing because we see, we don't just see the lights in the sky, we see in the close-up the outline of the object. Very clearly, the structure of the object is so clear. And also, in June 12th uh, dated uh, footage, the UFO puts a show and it turns its lights back and forth again from one side to another. This is amazing footage. And it's been analyzed, the whole footage has been analyzed from our scientific board for two and a half weeks. It went frame by frame, uh, uh, went pixel by pixel, and this is 100% genuine footage.
on the internet there is a video from 2008 now this video some people say it's hoaxed some people say it's the real deal I don't know whether you know or not uh, whether it's the real deal or not but it certainly is one of the best videos we've ever seen close up of what purports to be a UFO do you know anything about that one It's supposed to be from Istanbul Turkey if this is the video, uh, which is called a Combergus video, which is a close-up of a craft, uh, in fact, so close that you can see the occupants, it is 100% real, and I was there as that was filmed. Okay. That's what I wanted to hear. I wanted to know. Um, uh, the... uh, up on my uh, website, uh, unfortunately, the one that's, uh, the, the depiction that's up there is not as clear as uh, the other footage I have, and we're going to uh, switch it uh, soon. Uh, the one I have is the clearest uh, footage of it. Also, uh, I think the audience uh, would like to know, that footage uh, was taken uh, by the uh, Cirrus um, UFO organization uh, to a university in Istanbul, and their uh, optical physicist went over that with a fine-tooth comb, and it was on all the major television broadcasts in Turkey that uh, that was the real McCoy. There was no uh, faking. There was no trickery of the camera. Uh, there was not. A, there was not an aberration. It was not a frisbee. Uh, it, it talked about the reflected light uh, off of the craft, which was coming from the full moon and that the, the areas where you see the occupants are some kind of a backlighting. Okay, now you, uh, you said you were there when this was filmed. How close did this thing get to you and whoever else was there observing it? Uh, not as close as you might see from the footage. We were uh, on the beach um, and uh, filming out uh, over the water. And what we saw is something bright that was under the moon. So uh, let's say the moon was the size of a dime. Uh, this would have been um, the size of a, a flashlight. And uh, we were more interested at that point than the moon than the little uh, bright light that was under it. But the camera that we were using uh, had a 400-millimeter uh, 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 lens on it and an electronic doubler. So as we uh, pushed on the craft, uh, which means focused or, uh, on, the, on the craft, uh, it got uh, more clear and more clear and more clear. And when we, we centered on it, uh, those are the shots that became famous. Were you astounded when you saw the video? Oh, yeah. You can hear us, um, uh, the exclamations uh, being made. Uh, it's, it's up on YouTube. It's been mm -hmm. up for some time. But you can hear the exclamations made both in Turkish and in English uh, for those of, the, were, of us that were standing there because we were, we were looking at it on the monitor for the camera. How many people were there? Oh, at that point, we must have had between six and eight people.